This is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five front-end developer interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now, let's get started. Question number one, can you explain the techniques you use to ensure front-end security? The purpose of front-end security on a website is twofold. The first is to keep the client and their data secure. The second is to prevent the client from accessing parts of the website that they shouldn't reach. Companies will be interested in how you go about performing this task since it protects both their users and the company from data loss, hacking, and liability issues. Since this is an operational question, be sure to keep your answer direct and to the point. As a front-end developer, security is one of my key concerns, second only to the performance of the website. By incorporating security practices in the code's original development, I eliminate the need to be constantly fixing leaks or combating hacks. My first step in this process is to use a framework that handles security automatically. Examples of this include Vue, Angular, and React. I've also begun incorporating trusted types into my development. This is a new browser API from Google which addresses XSS issues. Finally, I compartmentalize the individual applications rather than deploying them as a single piece of code. This makes them harder to hack and minimizes the damage when they are penetrated. Question number two, what methodologies do you use to ensure that your web application is user-friendly? One of the key elements front-end developers need to include in their web designs is ease of use. It doesn't matter what content the website contains or how robustly it performs if users can't easily access and navigate it. Incorporating ease of use and user friendliness in your design will encourage users to explore the site and take advantage of its features. Once I decide on a website's basic structure, I turn my attention to how the users will navigate it. I design elements that make it easy to find your way around my site and locate the information you are searching for. I also access the site using various web browsers to determine what the user experience will be. Question number three. Please discuss CSS Float and give me an example of how you use it when developing websites. This is an example of a technical question. When interviewing for a front-end developer's role, most of the questions you will be asked will be technical. Technical questions usually ask you to define a term, concept, process, or operation used in this job. You then will be asked to describe how it is used, compare it to another similar term, or give an example. When answering this type of question, first define the term or concept and then respond to the interviewer's specific question. A CSS float instructs the browser to place an element in a specific position within the container. This is a useful tool because it allows me to develop web pages that resize dynamically depending on the user's browser's resolution. The alternative uses fixed position elements, which may not be properly rendered if the browser resolution is different from what I have designed for. Question number four. Tell me about the SEO best practices or techniques you use in your work. While SEO or search engine optimization is a primary responsibility of the website designer, as a front-end developer, you also need to contribute to how easily the website is located by search engines. Knowing the various techniques and incorporating them into your code will help optimize SEO and drive traffic to the site. When seeking to optimize the SEO for a website I am developing, I collaborate with a web designer so we are both on the same page as to what content and code will contribute to this objective. Some of the techniques I can utilize include using digital PR to earn backlinks, improving my organic CTR using PPC testing, using internal links to supercharge the rankings, optimizing core web vitals, and optimizing the site for image search. Question number five, what version control systems have you worked with? One of the key principles of developing code for any application is version control. This ensures that any changes made to the code are documented and that developers can revert to older versions if the newly developed code does not function properly. Being familiar with and utilizing version control systems is a fundamental requirement for any front-end developer. You can anticipate this question will be asked at nearly every interview. During my career as a front-end developer, I've worked with many version control systems. These all fall into one of the three main categories, which include local, centralized, and distributed systems. The only difference between these three is how and where they are managed. The software I use for version control includes both open source, such as RCS, OpenCVS, and SCCS, 
and some proprietary systems. These include Acurev, various IBM products, PTC, Razor, and Vault, to name a few. Thank you for watching. If you want more front end developer interview questions, then head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.